Hi guys, welcome back to another video. This is Bilal Khan and you are watching Simplified Coding. We seen how we are going to store data using Firebase in the last video. And the first thing we need to store is the categories. So guys, in this video, we will create the user interface from where we will put the category values which are name, description and a thumbnail image. Then we will store all these values to Firebase database and storage. So now let's begin. So to store all the views which we currently have only two, one is for categories and the other is for the images. Okay. So we are going to store all the views that are required in this admin area in a separate folder. Okay. So for these views, we will create a new folder and we will name it views. Okay. So let's create a new folder inside this public folder and we will name this folder as views. So we have a folder views inside this folder. We will create a file named categories.html. Now in this file, we will display two things. The first thing is the area from where we will put all the category values and we will click on a button to save a new category. And in the other area, we will display all the existing categories. Okay. So we just need to write some HTML. So let's do it. The first thing we will do is we will write an H2 here and it is for categories. So we have categories. Then we will display a horizontal line. Then we will create a dev and a bootstrap class, which is row inside the row. I will create two columns. The first column is dev class call lg5 and the other dev is dev class call lg7 okay so we have two columns the first dev and the second dev inside this dev we will create a form to add a new category and inside this dev we will display all the existing categories so let's do it here we will write an h4 and I will display a simple message add new which means add a new category from here. Then we will create a form and inside this form the first thing we will have is an input field for category name. So let's create another div of class form prop. Then inside this form group, we will create a label for category name. Okay. And we will write here enter name. Then we will create an input field. So we have input type text. The class is form control, which is a bootstrap class. Then we will have an ID as category name, which we defined here. So we have the ID as category name. And then we will have, uh, I guess that's it. Okay. So we have the label and we have the input field. Okay. So this is for category name. Now after the category name, we will input the category description. Okay. So I will copy the same, copy this and then paste. And here this is category description. Then we have category description. Okay. That's it. Now after the category, category description, we will have a file input for uploading the category thumbnail. Okay. So again, paste the same and this is thumbnail and we have thumbnail here. This time input type is file. Okay. And the ID is category thumbnail. That's it. So we have name, we have description. And we have category thumbnail. Now the thumbnail is an image and it will take time to upload. 
So for the image, we can display the progress bar that will display the progress of the upload. Okay. So below the file input field, we can create a progress bar. Okay. And again, progress bar is very easy to create with Bootstrap. We just need to create a dev form group. And inside this form group, we will create the progress bar. Okay, so we have dev class progress bar and the width will be 0%. Okay, and here we can display the label which is 0% and we need to wrap this div inside another div which is progress. Okay. So what we have, we have a dev inside a div. The first one is class progress and the other one is class progress bar. And we can change the width to display the progress. Okay, we will see how we do this using jQuery. But for now, we are only creating the UI. Okay, so we have this progress bar. Now we will create a button. Okay, where we will press to save the category. So again, create a form group and create a button button type button class btn btn primary to create a blue button and here we will display the text save okay now when the category is saved successful we will display a message so after the form we will create another dev and we will give the id as a result and here we will display the message after saving the category. If it is successful, we will display a success message here. If the cat category saving process is failure, then we will display a failure message here. Okay. So we have the UI. Okay. Now what we need to do is we need to display this thing when we will click when we will click on the category navigation menu. Okay. So let's do it. So for this, we will come inside uh, for now let's display a simple message here and uh, let's say we have an h4 and we will display saved categories and we will display save categories now to display this file actually this html when we will click on the categories navigation menu we need to come inside the admin.html and here we will create a method okay actually we will call a method so come here in the nav menus so we have two menus okay so for this a we will write here on click that means what will happen when we will click on this a okay so here we will call a method named switch view and we will pass the path of the view here okay so the path is inside views folder we have categories.html so here we will write views slash categories.html okay so inside this a tag for the categories menu we defined an on click we called a method named switch view and we pass the address or path of our categories.html file okay now we need to define this method and we will define this inside app.js okay so let's define function switch view it will take a view and here we will call a jquery get okay and inside the get we will pass an object and it and this object will contain two things the first thing is the url that we need to get which is inside this view variable so here we can pass the view so what's happening here from this html we are calling this switch view method and passing the path okay now this path is here in this view variable and we are passing that view to the URL which we need to get okay and one more thing we will define which is cache and we will make it false okay 
then we will call then and again this then will take a function and it takes a parameter and in this parameter we will have this HTML that we created okay so we will display this HTML inside let me show you inside HTML admin.html inside admin.html and we will display that HTML inside this container okay so we also need to give an ID to this container and we will give the ID as container okay so we have this dev where we need to display this categories.html or our view that we want to display okay so we don't need this images h1 here we will display the categories.html that we fetched using the get method okay so we can simply write here hash container dot html container is the id of this dev and inside that container we will put this html that we fetched okay now it should work so let's see if it is working or not first we need to run our server http server okay so the server is running now let's test so we are logged in now let's click this categories oops it is not working so let's check the console for the errors okay so you see we have some error to open a console you can use control plus shift plus i okay so you can see we are getting an error that dollar dot get is not a function now this may happen or this happens when we are using the slim version of jquery okay you see we are using the jquery slim dot min so the first thing we need to do is we need to change the version of jquery okay so here we will uh, searched jquery cdn and this time we will use the minified version okay so copy this thing and inside your admin.html replace the old jquery with this okay that's it now we have main version of the jquery now it should work okay so let's test again refresh this page click on categories and you can see we are getting the ui that we created okay so we have the button save we have this input fields and we have this file input as well from where we will select the thumbnail for our category so it is working okay and I guess we should put some margin over here it is very close to the nav bar on the top and it is not looking good okay so let's do it it is very simple we can simply put some top margin for the container and margin top let's say 25 pixels let's test now it is nice okay so guys we have created the ui for adding the categories okay we will work on this part later okay first we need to work on adding the category then when we have some categories in our database we will display those categories here okay so that's it for this video guys if you found this video helpful please hit on the like button subscribe to my channel and share this video and I will see you in the next video where we will add functionality to this form. That means we will save the category into Firebase database. So that's it for this video guys. I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.